A few weeks ago, we made a video on this eBay loose tenon joinery jig, which makes the same kind of joinery as a Festool Domino. And in that video, I recommended this as a lower priced alternative to the Domino. In that video, a few of you commented saying Jessam, a well-known Canadian company, is making their own version but uses a drill. I pre-ordered one, it has arrived. We are gonna compare it to the eBay jig and the Festool Domino. This is going to be fun. $200, $1,200, $350. Pricey for a jig, but if you're looking to save money compared to the Festival Domino, this could come in really handy. Their promo video makes this look really cool. It automatically steps down so you can just do a layer at a time with a drill and dust collection. One of the reasons why I didn't like this is because it made so much dust. The Festool Domino makes zero dust. This allows dust collection. This could be a game changer. It does come with instructions. We don't need no instructions. I actually have no idea how this goes together. Can you hand me the instructions, Daniel? I'm gonna go ahead and say, the instructions suck. It looks like they're just printed off on a copier. So the images are really dark. I can't even tell what's going on in the images. Now it's saying take part number 11 and then use part number 16. So it's one of those, you gotta flip to the other page to see what part number 11 is and back and forth. Maybe they have a video up on their website. I'm putting it together. And if they do, that's the way to go. I'm gonna already say these instructions suck. Plus, mine's ripped. I'm really familiar with Jessam. I have their miter gauge, a little pricey, but extremely well built. I just wish the front end of this was a little bit longer. I also have their stock guides that connects to your table saw fence. These work great. I always forget that I have them, but it's like having a second hand here in the shop. I have no affiliation with Jessam. They have no idea who I am. We've never chatted, we've never talked. I purchased all of this with my own money by selling drugs. It's a couple days later, and let me explain why. As I was putting this together, it was missing some screws. I was like 98% sure that I did not lose them. I looked everywhere, I was very careful. I did not lose the screws. I blamed myself, and so I just set this aside. A couple days later, I went to the Home Depot to go get the screws that I needed. They didn't have the right length, so I figured I'll just grind them down. And when I got home, there was a package on my doorstep. Apparently, they knew that they were they didn't package all the screws. The instructions pretty much sucked. The images are really dark. You can't see what's going on. I looked on their website. They don't have this PDF available for download yet. And currently there's no video on their YouTube channel on putting it together. That's a strike against them, but it's a brand new product. Maybe by the time you watch this, they'll have a video, they'll have better instructions, they'll have a PDF download. It's not a big deal. I'm making a big deal about it. It's not a big deal. Now it is together. We are going to try this out. I did not opt for the $190 jig. It's an optional thing that you can use. I'm just gonna use my bench vise. And my couple test cuts that I just did, I've learned that that jig would make this a lot easier to use. Let's say I wanna join these two boards with a couple of floating tenons in there. I am going to draw a line here and then draw a line here. Unlike using these two tools, I have to transfer this line to the face. So it's one extra step, but not a big deal. So I'm gonna transfer that. And then we have to draw our center line on here. So a reference from the top and draw that on there. And this is where I struggled a little bit with not having that added jig. Getting the boards in here is kind of a balancing act of getting the lines lined up on there and then clamping this down. On smaller boards, it's not a big deal, but on longer boards where You've got to do this thing. You got to you got to kind of hold it in place once you get it level, and then bring in the clamp. Then the hose is in the way, and I get it clamped down, and it's not level. So then I got to undo it, get that lined up, hold it perfect, and get that clamped in there. And it's still not perfect. So it. On longer boards without that jig, it's kind of a it's kind of a pain. I've got the jig in here, I've got my board, and I need to line up these two lines right there, which we've got. Then I can lock this down. 
a oh, little off, my fault. So once we have that centered line down, we can loosen these two guys and move the whole jig so these guys line up right there. This is what I'm excited about with this jig. It has dust collection. Like I mentioned before, this jig is fantastic, but there's no dust collection and routers are crazy messy. And I hate using routers. It is widely known that I hate using routers. This uses a drill with this special six millimeter bit and it's got dust collection. That's why I'm so excited about this. I can eliminate those two issues that I had with the other jig. So I've got this locked in here. I've got my dust collection hooked up. This thing is, I, I don't know what magic is happening within this jig, but it steps down. You, you take this handle and you go back and forth. And this thing steps down so you cut one layer at a time. And then it's got a little release, goes back up. I gotta say, that is really cool. I have no idea how that is working, but that's pretty cool. And so it also has a depth stop with this little brass screw right here, and it's ratcheted. So it locks into place without any kind of lock. So I can set my, my gauge block in there, set my depth, and we're good to go. Once we have everything lined up, then we loosen this guy, and then this whole thing moves forward, and we lock that down. And I'll turn on my dust collection. Take that out of the clamp, and then we gotta do this, this little dance here where we hold this in place and then lock that down. God damn it. <laughs> it's fussy. Now we can move, take this out of the clamp. We can move this over, line up those lines, and then do this little dance where we gotta hold it steady, clamp that down. This is kind of difficult without the jig. There is no doubt this is difficult without that jig, especially my bench vise is so big, I can't get my fingers in there. There we go. Then we can push this forward, lock that down, reset that, and cut. So I take this out. So there are our two motor systems. Now we gotta do the mating piece, making sure that we have the boards in the same orientation so we're referencing off the same face. One of the things that I don't like about this is I have to loosen this and slide this back. And I keep sliding it all the way off the jig and then have to realign it. I wish there was a stop to keep this from coming all the way off the jig. So that, that's a little annoying and come on. You don't, there we go. It's a little annoying. The dust collection works real, like there are, there's no dust anywhere. So, four thumbs up for dust collection. It comes with a six millimeter bit. You can buy other size bits. So that means you could use a six millimeter domino. I don't have any six millimeter. I have five and eight. And my local Woodcraft did not have any six millimeter dominoes in stock. So I'm gonna make my own, which I think a lot of you who would use this jig would also make your own. So I'm gonna cut that here now. Now that I got that cut to width, I'm gonna round over the edges here on the router. A couple things that I forget to do, and it's totally my fault just because I'm not used to the system, is I forget to reset it. So one time I just started carving willy nilly. And then you also have to push this forward and lock that down. I forgot to push it forward one time and I ran my bit right into the jig, probably dulling my bit and marking up the jig. It's my fault totally, but these are extra steps that I don't have to worry about with this eBay jig and the domino. Just one of those things. So now we're gonna glue these together. It's nice and flush on the top. 
That worked really well, sort of. I'm conflicted here because I really love Justin products. They make insanely well thought, well engineered, well machined stuff. This jig for my purposes is just a little too finicky. Of course, I'm gonna use the Domino. There's a lot of people that are gonna complain about the price of the Domino. Those people are usually not professional woodworkers. So, uh, of course, this isn't for the weekend warrior because it's, 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 uh, it's very expensive. There's no doubt it is very expensive. And people are gonna say it's just overpriced, but there's a lot of engineering that goes into their products. They're, they're, their dust collection on their products is, is thought out more. So when you go, when you buy a tool from Harbor Freight, they're copying from other people. And, but Festool seems to be doing their own thing and you gotta pay engineers to do that. So I understand why these, this tool is so darn expensive and I understand why people hate on them. I think they make really, really good products. It's just not for everybody. Now, there are a million ways to join boards together. There are, that's the great thing about woodworking is you could use a loose tenon, you could cut traditional joinery, you, uh, you, shoot, you could use pocket holes for this type of joinery. There's, there's just a million ways. The floating tenon is very strong. You could all, oh, uh, what do you call the, 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 the biscuits, biscuit joiner. Biscuit joiner is great for this application as well and it's, it's far, less expensive. This is just a stronger joint, so when I'm making chairs and especially things at weird angles, I'm definitely gonna reach for the domino. This, I don't wanna get preachy. I don't wanna, I don't wanna tell you what to buy. I, this, honestly, I, like you, you need to make your own decisions. For me, time is money. For the weekend warrior, you have, maybe you wanna take your time and you wanna enjoy the process. So you, this jig right here, might be perfect for you. It's, it's, I don't know what magic is happening with the, doing the different levels and the, the stop on there, but it is, it's really well made. It's just a little too fussy for me. I could grab this $200 eBay one, which seems to sell out quite a bit. I've got a lot of comments on this video of, hey, it's not available. As of right now, it is available for $195, but you have to have either the DeWalt router or Makita, I think. Makita router. So one of those two. So it's $200 for the jig. I already had the router, so I didn't have to buy a router. This would work great for many people. I just don't see myself reaching for it. I don't want you to make any decisions just based on this video. In fact, Lincoln Street Woodworks just today put out a video on this. He goes into a lot more detail. Watch his videos, watch the other videos because these people might have a different opinion than me. This definitely, definitely, definitely would work better with the optional jig that you can buy for $190 or make your own. But then, you know, you got to figure out the clamping system and you got to have the whatever. You, you need to make your own decisions on what's best for you. But go check out the Lincoln Street Woodworks video. He does a really good job of talking about the limitations and the advantages of this that I didn't get into. This kind of blew my mind for the price, and I already had the router. Uh, people did worry about having um, the bit so close to your hand. There was a lot of comments saying it looks unsafe. I think it would be really, really hard to put your hand into the bit. You gotta, you have to almost try to put your hand into the bit. So that was a concern many people had, and plus some wobbliness. But if you take your time, this is a great jig. The speed between these three tools, by far, the Festool Domino is the quickest and easiest to set up, by, like by a long shot. This eBay jig is a close second, uh, and, and the quality is just as good as the Domino. This takes a lot more setup, but you're getting a higher quality tool than this. And the reason these are just faster and easier is because you have this fence on here and you have this fence on here, you just adjust a couple knobs. This you gotta get an Allen wrench out to make some adjustments and then you are taking the tool to the piece. So you're just like bam, 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 bam. This, you gotta put the piece in the jig, you gotta set it up, you gotta clamp it down, you gotta make sure everything is right and then you do the drill. 
again, I don't want to crap on such an amazing company. Make your own decisions. I just don't see myself reaching for this. Just because I have other options, I'm going to be giving this away to one of my Patreon members.